I noticed that more and more women were coming to choices and making a decision of abortion for economic reasons. And it was sort of this rape, incest, or me paradigm. They would come in and say, I never thought I would be here. I never thought I would have to make this decision. I'm not like all those women in the waiting room. I mean, I really don't want to have to do this, but I have to do this because I just can't afford to have another child. We're struggling as it is. I don't have money for education. I hardly have money for rent, for food, etc., etc. And I started to look at this phenomenon and I called it abortionomics. So one day I'm sitting in my office and I was used to women coming in for four abortions, five abortions. But when somebody came into my office and said, Merle, there's a patient here who's 35 years old and this is her 36th abortion, I was shocked. Now, as you can imagine, it doesn't take very much to shock me. Being where I am and doing what I'm doing, I hear a lot of things that, that most people would not hear. That shocked me. Then I decided I had to save Russian women. I mean, here, where I'm fighting for the right to abortion, where that was freedom, reproductive freedom, in Russia, it was absolute oppression. There was no choice at all. There was no birth control, so you either had one child after another in these awful, awful hospitals, or else you had illegal abortions.